Listen, we was vibing in the studio and I absolutely loved that song. It's amazing. We're ready. Greetings. Greetings. Hi, Mimi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Welcome to the show. I'm happy to be here. Is this your first time I represent? Second. Second. Okay, cool. It's been a minute, but we got you here now. I'm happy. I feel like flowers need to be bestowed upon you. Honestly, you are really doing your thing. You too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're winning together. <laughs> We're winning together. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. No, but for real though, you're doing your thing. I just want to say congratulations on everything. The announcements at the job, BBC One Extra, everything, everything. You doing the shows. Yeah. And just being authentically you. So funny online. Can you receive praises? Because I feel like you're... You, you know, I'm learning to accept it. Learning. Talking before, to the mic. Before, I'm just like... Uh, I'm scared. Like, really? really? I'll be like, really? We watching. Are you? Yeah, we watching. Seriously? Of course. Okay. Of course. Firstly, I want to get into... What do I want to get into? Where do I want to start? Because there's so much to go through. Oh, no. There's, there's, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff. Oh, but you know, no. we're going to start with these. Me and my producers came up with these questions together. Okay. What's your favourite song to watch live? To listen to live? Oh, um, like... Period. Just UK, US, period. It's Beyonce. Beyonce? Like, and okay. like, for me... What song though? What song of Beyonce? Say My Name. This really? You know why? Because the first time I actually started to love live performances... Yeah. ...was the Beyonce experience and I was like... In primary school mm. and she switched it up and I was like oh my days the choir the background singers it was giving it was giving yeah yeah I, I'm inclined to agree with you because when I went to go see Beyonce at Coachella huh yeah oh god has really blessed you because I'm you know what you. I'm not the chosen one you. you're I'm, the chosen one I'm by telling way. you that, that that performance I don't think Netflix did it justice. Like, oh, you had to be there live. I'm depressed now. There's certain know. iconic performances that you need to go see. You know, see. you basically Real. witnessed Michael Jackson. Do you understand That's that? what I'm feeling. That's the reason why I went there. Because Michael had gone. Prince had gone. We were losing so many of the greats. I had to see Beyonce because I'd heard so many good things about her. I watched her twice. One mm -hmm. with Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. And the other one was the Lemonade Tour. Yeah. And that one was... I was crying. Like, I literally entered the place with makeup, left, wig shift... Lashes gone, makeup gone. I was like, you know when you see, oh, uh, I was crying like, ah, uh, that was not normal. <laughs> I swear it was not normal. I was crying like I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. felt that one. You felt it. Let's let's go to the beginning, man. Where 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 does Mimi the music blogger start? Where where does where does her journey start? When when did you start? You know, writing about music. When did you start that you just even wanted to have a passion to write for music? Because okay. people can love music, but they will never, you know what I mean, write, start writing articles or go okay. into it that deep. Or even go into, choose that as their spoken field, to be fair. If you want to start the beginning, the beginning, the beginning. The beginning. Like beginning, beginning. Edmonton days. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Um, okay, if you want to, okay, cool. I was that kid, yeah. Yeah. During secondary school, that once, like, I know the music before ev anyone. I'm yeah, like, yeah. oh, you, you haven't heard this song yet. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, back in the days, you didn't, yeah, you didn't, you didn't get that song yet. Yeah. yeah, I remember. Yeah, like I used to listen to radio all the time. I used to record it on my like, wow. a, like a bush girl, by the way. Okay, record it, yeah, and listen to it. Like, yeah, yeah, I got that. Yeah, boom, goes to school. You, you didn't get this song. What Bluetooth? Yeah, I patterned that for you. <laughs> like, I was, I was that Use the girl. plug. Use the plug. You know what I'm trying to say? Then, um, I say. It was second year of uni and when I started to write a bit, because I was, I was bored in it because mm. I wasn't doing my assignments. Mm. Sorry, mum. It's fine. It's but fine. I was bored. Yeah. Then I was like, you know what? Like, I listened to albums and I was like, oh, I have a, like, I have like a vision or I have like a thought of someone to express it. Yeah. Because I'm tired of going to my friends, oh, did you hear about this? Because I felt like I was nagging them all the time. Mm. Um, then I started creating my own blog. Then from there, I was just... What was your blog on? What did you use? It was a What's WordPress. It? WordPress, okay. Yeah, yeah, WordPress, yeah. Set that up. Set it up. Do you remember your first article that you wrote? It was Scissor Control. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Like that. Hey, Scissor has me, you know. She... You know what? I posted it, yeah, and her drummer mm -hmm. must have messaged me saying, no, nah, this is hard. I said, 
<laughs> I said, girl. I said, girl. And it didn't stop there, though. How did you feel when Joe Budden shouted you out? Fake. That was fake. I said, nah. Because he was at me. He said, I can't see the thread. Like, send me the thread. Like, yeah. show me the thread. I'm thinking, no, it's, this is not Joe Budden. Yeah, no, it's definitely Joe no Budden. No way. Then I think like a week after that, somebody must have um, DM'd me. Like, oh my gosh, he shouted you out. I said, mm. I watch this every week. Let me watch this. So I'll listen to it. I said, yeah, shout out me, me, 305. I did this. <laughs> Sir, what? It's happening. But it's, it's but it's for me, it was the Americans lot bigging me up before yeah. people in the UK. <laughs> Sometimes it bees like that. It bees shout! like that. Sometimes it bees like the UK that. UK's bad vibes, but I love them. Yeah, but, yeah, you know same, I mean? same. But, I love them. Um, it is what yeah, it is. We're yeah. here now. We're here now. Yeah. In full effect. Years later. Yeah. You know what? We're, we're definitely going to get into that LMA interview. But before we do, we were speaking about this off air. Okay, what? How we need to see Dave in the fire live. So I don't know who's listening to this that's a fan of yours. Plug me as well. Because I really want to see Dave. Anyone that knows, anyone that listens to me on Represent Radio knows Dave is my favorite UK artist. Period. Hands down. Go yeah? Just check the history in it. Here's Dave in the fire. Dave in the fire. Wow. Samuel Any on Represent. Yes, you're locked in. 20 minutes past six, and we're just getting to the thick of things. Um, I want to start off here, to be fair. Ella May, I saw that tweet. I was like, wow. Firstly, what did she smell like? It was on Zoom. It was on Zoom? Yeah. She's in America. She's in America? Yeah. So she doesn't live here? Not anymore. So it's all live. Yeah, yeah. Sick. No, she's she's a sweetheart. Yeah, she's a sweetheart, and she even told me like that's one of her favorite interviews so far. I said, oh my gosh, really? Was you nervous? I don't get nervous normal. I just see it as a conversation. Really? Yeah, like, it's just like let's what's conversation, let's chat, and I feel like um, it was very engaging. Like she asked my opinions on stuff. I mm. gave her my opinion. This is that, but obviously I'm not gonna write all of it. But yeah, like she's a G still. So she's a friend. No. Oh no. It's just, it's so you couldn't text her right now and just be like, yo. No, no. Not I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not up there yet. Sorry. Not yet. No, okay, no, no, cool. no. I mean, because the conversation was having on. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's, keep, let's keep on the right. Yeah, let's keep on the just, I'm just, I'm just saying now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my laugh is so. <laughs> <laughs> it's legendary. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if, you, if you had to listen to one UK artist for the rest of your life, who would it be? UK or US? UK. You already know the answer. You, everyone knows the answer. Everyone knows the answer. <laughs> would you, would you... Jay Huss. Hustler, baby. If you know me, you know that's my king. That's actually my king. What is it about Jay Huss that you love so much? I mean, I can understand why. He, but... I feel like with him... Okay, because we're black in Britain, mm. I like to say. You know what I mean? Because we're not black British, we're black in Britain. Um... <laughs> I feel like he is the most, one of the most authentic black Brits mm-hmm. that actually does it right because he's still aff with it, mm-hmm. but at the same time, he appreciates like dance um, hall culture, mm-hmm. like in the lingo. It's like, it's literally in the lingo and he doesn't switch it up. Like he has, everyone says bundle. Like, come on. Like, I remember this, when it came out. You know what I mean? So Huss is just authentic. He doesn't switch up. He literally... He's against himself. That's how I see him. We're never going to see another house, by the way. Ever. I miss him performing live, you know. Like, I think the last time I saw him was when Drake brought him out. I wish I was there. That was the last time. I wish I was there. And I now he disappears again. And the thing is, I feel like Huss is the only person that can do that. There's, there's like, Kano can do that. Huss can do that in the scene. There's certain people Dave can ghost from mm-hmm. the scene. There's certain people, but it just shows you there's music and there's music. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I like to say. When people people like to drop music because they want to be out here and they want to keep their run. Yeah. And there's certain people that drop music and ghost because the music can speak for itself. Yeah. And Huss is one of them. On um, Champions League of Everything. Oh God. You're there, oh repping, standing for the ladies. Um, yeah. I remember the episode that aired out where you was back in Sims hard. Back in Sims hard. And it felt like, well, just two people. 
Margs and Lippy. That's gangster. Yeah, that's hundred percent. That's yeah. that's they they they're doing the thing for the culture. They wasn't really hearing what you were saying. They respected it. Yeah, but it didn't seem like they was hearing it. What is it? Do you feel like is because I don't think it's just them. I, I, I definitely yeah, just do you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people might have those comments as well. And I remember specifically having a show or going to one of her shows yeah. and. The UK crowd wasn't warming to her. It was annoying me because she was spitting. What, what, uh, this was a t- while ago when she opened up for Pusha T. Okay. This was a while ago. Mm-hmm. Um, she's, obviously, The Sims Den is not yeah, The Sims today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, what do you think it is about the UK that doesn't necessarily gravitate to Sims, in your opinion? It's not the UK. Okay, do you generally expect people like Margs and Lippy that are from the streets, mm-hmm. as they love to say, because that's their <laughs> lingo, yeah, yeah. to listen to Sims? Or even the thing is, but they're music lovers though. They love music, but it's their music. Everyone has a different type of taste, of course. And I feel like that's that's the magic of music. Not everyone's supposed to like the same thing. And I feel like I feel like they know she's hard. They know she can spit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they don't listen to her, so they can't really speak on certain things in comparison to other artists like Steph or Miss Banks that are literally out there, mm-hmm. all of that stuff, and they do. You know what I'm trying to she's say? She's a different type of artist. She's an artiste. Mm. That's the difference. When she DM'd you, what was your thoughts? Was you gas? I, I was thinking, huh? <laughs> I said, girl, how did you get here? <laughs> Who sent you? <laughs> Who sent you? And she was just, we had conversations before. Yeah. And it was like, she's at a place that I'm not, I'm living my dream. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I don't of need, I don't need to have validation from certain people no more. Mm-hmm. Like I'm living my dream that I always wanted since I was a kid. And I, I respect it. I respect the thing with Sims, yeah. Is she underrated because she's a female? Because if she's a guy, she'll have the same praises with the Stormzies and Daves and mm-hmm. all that lot. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. So it's a bit of a sticky one. But at the same time, she she does get her praises. Yeah. Like, she, she's been in the game for like 10 years. Sims knows me. So she knows I've always. You know what I'm trying had to say? Like, like she's the coldest. Yeah, she she is one of the. She can chuck it to a lot of men in the game. Listen, easily. she understands art. just in terms of rapping ability. Nuts. She understands art. Period. Like she can act. <laughs> she can make her own, create her own music. She can ghost. And one thing about her, yeah, she told me she's like, I live my life and I create my art based on her life. When when she said that, it clicked. I think you know what? It makes sense because certain rappers are so commercial. They're trying to do songs that is in the clubs or it needs to be played in the clubs mm-hmm. rather than like Sims or Dave or Haas or Kano live their life yeah. and create art based on that because because that art connects with the masses for do sure do you understand of course I understand so she don't need to prove nothing man she want a break Sims you know what I'm saying happy belated birthday gang do you know what I mean Mimi's still here. We're going to get to some games. We've got some games for you, you know? Oh, no. Yeah, we've got some games. Oh, You're not ready. I'm scared. We've got to guess the song. Okay. So I'm going to be humming that song to you. Okay. You're going to have to guess it. Okay. And then we've got Snug Mary Kiss after that as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you know I'm off brand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Funky Friday. Fredo, up next. I feel fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so happy. My king, Jay Huss. This, uh, I'm going to ask you two questions before we get into the game. Okay. Favourite throwback club banger tune all time? Hard. Kanye West. Nah, nah. Really? Nah. Where the, I that wasn't going to expect that. that hey, that's I a, wasn't expecting that's a, that. All oh, 50 Cent, Benny Men. Oh. Where you close your eyes? Dun, 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 many men. You be thinking, yeah, my ops are outside. I'm, I'm singing to God like, yeah. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go out with <laughs> prize. You know what I mean? Um, which upcoming artists right now do you feel like we should be, we should be listening to, watching out for, in your opinion? Shah Simone, SB. Yep. Cristal. Yep. Naming Billy, a lot of the ladies. Billions. Okay, I've got him on here as well. Um, yeah. M-Way, T-Way. Um, who else can I think of on the spot? The I don't scoop know. Is, the scoop is strong. Yeah, solid, solid, yeah, the solid. Scoop is strong. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, cool. First game, the humming game. I'm going to give you three songs. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hum them to you. And you have to tell me which one they are. They probably might not be that hard to be fair. Okay. Okay, cool. You ready for the first one? Okay. 
Cool. This humming's not giving humming, by the way. I, it sounds like noise the way you're humming it. If you could, if you could take a guess, who do you reckon it will be? You don't want to know what's in my mind. Seriously, <laughs> do it again. Okay. I'll do another song from the same artist. Okay. Your humming is really funny. Mm. Because <laughs> right now I think about a wife and kids episode of the <laughs> so way you're humming is just not giving what it's supposed to give. It's not giving what it's supposed okay, to give. Okay, do it again. Okay, cool. Um. <laughs> ah, 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 come on, English, English, <laughs> English is not English in right now. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> okay, let me do a bait one. You sound like you know the Af aunties singing in choir. Hmm. You know who that is. Child, the English is not interesting. <laughs> Take a guess. I don't. I don't want to guess. Central C, obsessed with you. That's how you hum. No. <laughs> What's this? Ah uh-uh. ah. English is not English. In what are you trying to do? The bass? The bass of the song? <laughs> what? All right, this was an easy one. Okay. <laughs> Okay. That's how you hum. That's how you hum, yeah? Yes. So how was I doing it? <laughs> but you got it from that though. You can still hear that. You just told me. No, I can't. What hum are you doing? Okay, let me try, try hum this Hum the lyrics, not the beat. Uh-uh. Cha. I feel like I'm getting told off now. What kind of humming? Okay, cool. Let me, let me think of this. Can't you miss? Okay. Now you're so, humming. So wait, so now you're humming. the lyrics, now, now not humming. the beat. <laughs> No, you would have this. So you got that one yeah. instantly. Okay, yes. cool. Um, let me try and see if I can give you another one. Last one. Um, no, it has to be a bit harder. Okay, cool. Let's go with this. Lyrics, not beat. Jahas, did you see? Mm-mm-mm. So wait. How can you tell from those two hummings and the other ones that I did? Did you hear the first? It wasn't mm, a mad mm, difference. Mm, 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 mm. Excuse me. Do you know what? That was one game. We're going to go into the next game. Here's Coffee Pull Up. <laughs> coffee Pull Up on Represent Radio. You're locked into Samuel Any, 107.3. Across the city of London, city of London. from borough to borough, this, this is Represent 107.3 FM. Since you're saying that my humming was really that bad, yeah? Horrible. Horrible, yeah? Yes. Say less. The last game for today, mm-hmm. before Mimi leaves us. Oh. Snog Mary Kiss. Okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Specs. <laughs> okay. PK Humble. Okay. Yeah. And? and normally I would I would have gone with another cast member that you've worked with. Yeah. But I'm throwing my name into the mix. Now before you answer that, congratulations on everything. Oh thank you. You're welcome. Oh, they they didn't get you flowers on that show. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> think, oh you trying to you trying to win my heart. <laughs> you trying to win my heart. Not like that. So okay. now you got to make your decision. Um, okay, I'm gonna marry you because no one has given me flowers on Valentine's Day and I feel like I deserve it. So I'm gonna marry you because you give me husband material now, child. PK specs. But I wanna marry PK because PK is my husband, like he's my soulmate. You gotta pick one. I'll snog you because we're just getting started, you know what I mean? Okay, PK, you But married. I have to marry PK because everyone knows that we have to keep the Congo love, black love together, you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, I hear it. Then, Specs, Specs is like my big bro. So you're going to kill Specs? No, I'm never going to kill Specs. He just doesn't make the... So you gonna, hug him? He's going to be my best man. Best man? At, yeah. who, at what, PK's wedding? Me and PK's wedding, yeah. Okay. He, he might sabotage the wedding though. And that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but that's as long as he's not dead and I'm, I'm good know what Mimi thank you so much for coming through thank you is there any advice you'll give anyone that's 
currently watching you right now and just was like, I want to be like Mimi the music blogger. She inspires me. She's incredible. She's in there. What advice? It's a cliche question, but yeah. what advice would you give someone who is just trying to get into the game right now? Because I feel like the creative scene is always changing. Mm -hmm. Things are always advancing. Technology mm -hmm. is always coming through. Mm -hmm. What do they do? Be yourself and use what's around you. Mm. And I feel like you should create your own communities rather than looking for validation in the industry. I feel like when people, wait, 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 I feel like. Wait, 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 what am I looking for? What am I looking for? <laughs> wait, can you say that one more time, please? Create your own communities rather than looking for validation like from the industry, because it's always changing and they're looking for what's hot. So if you create your own communities, they will know that like, you guys have a voice and it matters. Mm. And I feel like you should do that. Mm. Have conversations with your friends. Create your own podcast. Do your own tweets. Mm. Go on TikTok, because I know that's popping right now. Of course. Instagram. Just use what's around you and just be yourself. Last question. What was it like being on um, Tion's documentary? Um, It was it was cute. Yeah. It was nice because it's like, he asked me and I was like, really? He's like, yeah, you're from the same end. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. your voice matters. I'm thinking, raw, oh, okay. Like, everyone's going to see my face mm. laughing at <laughs> certain things. Yeah, yeah. Like a fool. But at the same time, fool, um, it made me realise, like, I don't really need validation mm. from that scene. I just have to be myself because I just... I've been being myself. If I have to be on brand, I'm the same with everyone else. Like, oh, this is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm happy with that. Happy with that, yeah. yeah. Mimi the Music Blogger, my interview for today. Mm. Um, International Women's Month is next month. Um, so it's only right that I got it in early. Uh, thank you for coming through. Thank you. I like Big up Ella as well. Yeah. It's patting everything. Yeah. Enjoy your flowers. Thank you so much. It's so cute. You happy with that? Yeah. I'm telling you, they didn't get that on the show. Stop doing that because they're still PK is not 6'5. I'm just saying. Child, I'm just saying. Leave, leave my husband alone, child. We anyway, we got 10 minutes left of the show. <laughs> DJ Dynamic takes over from 7 pm onwards. Thank you so much for joining me. I've been your host today, Samuel Any. I did promise a mix. We had to sort something out, so that mix will be played next week, unfortunately. So, Ngonzi, tune in for that one. That'll be a special mix. Tion Wayne. M24, knock knock. Love this tune.